welcome to the 2016 Audi R8 LMS Cup here at the Korea International Circuit. Reigning champion Alex Yoon is tied with Alessio Picariello at the top of the driver's standings with plenty of rivals still in the title race. Coming up in the program, we'll take a look at Alessio's rapid rise in the world of motorsport. We'll talk to amateur cup contenders, plus we'll see what local star KOU makes of this exciting F1 designed circuit. And of course, we'll have all the highlights of both races from South Korea. But first, let's check out how the season has unfolded so far. With six of the Cup's 12 races now in the books, the top of the table couldn't be closer, with reigning champion Alex Young level on points with newcomer Alessio Picariello. The Malaysian has racked up podium finishes at each of the three venues, with wins in Round 3 in Thailand and Round 5 in Sepang. But he's also struggled to cope with the extra ballast that those wins have brought, placing 5th and 6th when carrying the additional 50 kilos. Belgian Picariello is in his first full season with the Cup. While he's yet to win a race, he's finished runner-up no fewer than four times in the six races. On three of those occasions, he's been within a second of the winner, behind Rahel Fry in round two, trailing Alex Jung in round three, and then just half a second shy of Edo Mortara last time out. While both Jung and Picariello have 95 points, Jung leads by virtue of his two race wins, but it seems a matter of time before his young challenger gets his maiden breakthrough. 20 points behind in third sits Rahel Fry, who's had four podium finishes, including a win in Shanghai. Four points further back is another cup rookie, Martin Rump, who had impressive wins in Shanghai and Buriram, but has been dogged by a lack of consistency. 2012 champion Marchi Lee lies in fifth, still within touching distance of the lead, while Chinese motorsport pioneer Frankie Chung is in sixth after four top five finishes, but no podiums so far. Further back, local star KOU has yet to fire this season, but he has a history of doing well in Korea and will be desperate to turn his season around in front of his home fans. not just famous as a TV presenter in South Korea, he is also one of the country's fastest drivers. Let's check out his alternative guide to the Korea International Circuit. 네, 안녕하세요. 저는 유경욱입니다. 당연히 한국이니까 한국인이 홈 그라운드가 되겠죠. 그래서 제가 지금 보여드린 곳은 1번 코너예요. 첫 번째 코너인데 굉장히 속도가 많이 나는 직선을 지나서 굉장히 심하게 꺾여 있죠. 사고가 가장 많이 납니다. 그래서 이게 가장 중요해요. 슬로우 인, 패스트 아웃. 그 다음 직선이 이 서킷에서 가장 긴 직선이기 때문에 패스트 아웃을 못하면 당연히 성적이 안 좋겠죠. 자 여기는 바로 턴 3, 3번 코너입니다. 뒤를 보시면 되게 타이트해요. 그래서 많은 스피드를 가지고 왔다가 급격하게 브레이킹으로 속도를 줄이고 나서 턴을 하는데 사고가 굉장히 많습니다. 그걸 제가 여러분들한테 지금 바로 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. 자 여기는 이 서킷 중에 가장 무서운데요. 왜 그런지 알아요? 내리막에서 최고 스피드를 뽑아내면서 바로 여기를 브레이크가 없어 브레이크가 아예 그러고 들어가는 거야. 미친 거지. 엄청 무서운 거야. <웃음> 자, 이 코너는 굉장히 큰 헤어핀이에요. 이거 보이시죠? 오, oh, 노. No. 왜 그러냐면요. 하이스피드 코너로 진입을 해서 중간에서 굉장히 언더스티어가 많이 나요. 모션으로 보여줄게. 행동을 보여주면 어, 언더스티어, 언더스티어, 오, 노, 오, 노 하다가 바로 쉣 되는 거예요. 쉣. 자, 지금까지 KIC 서킷에 대해서 정우기와 알아봤습니다. 어떻게 쉽죠? 여러분, 나만 믿고 따라와! 따라와! 
Myself? Definitely Rahel. I mean, you just kind of take her, really. Alex is one of the most um, difficult competitors to overtake because showing him once what you want to do, where you like to overtake him, then he keeps this in mind all the time and uh, he won't give you a second chance. It's the guy who's fastest, isn't it? Alessio. Mortara. <laughs> the lowest Mortara. Welcome to Korea International Circuit, the fourth stop on the 2016 Audi R8 LMS Cup program. 5.615 kilometres, 18 turns, very demanding circuit, the third of the Formula One venues for 2016. Lesio Picciarello took the top spot in Super Pole from Alex Jung. It was a tight battle. Marci Lee, Dan Wells, Jan Kishiel and Rahul Fry round out the top six. A little bit further back, Australian Greg Taylor, the second of the AM Cup drivers on his debut, headed Jeffrey Lee, Sun Jing Zhu and Vincent Florendo. laps the race distance for round seven the 2016 Audi R8 LMS Cup and it's Alessio Picciarello off pole position moves across to try and keep the reigning champion Alex Jung out his title rival Marchi Lee in third place on board now with the Phoenix Racing Asia team boss as we race down to turn one tucks in under the rear wing of the MGT by absolute Audi tries to get the position up the inside of his teammate and no that's Alex Jung into P2 the long run down to turn three on the left of screen. That is Marchi Lee, but the pole man, Alessio Picciarello, the points leader coming into this race by virtue of getting the Super Pole single point, holds the lead of this race. His rival this season, two-time champion, Alex Jung, locks in under his rear wing. The thing he needs to do is get away from this pack, open up a lead. He has the advantage. He has the points lead. Alessio Picciarello needs to do everything he can to carry that through. Bit further back, KO Yu leads the pack. A great battle with Rahel Fry and Jan Kishel, his best performance since the Thailand race. Then it's Martin Rump leading Dan Wells on debut. A great job by the young English driver. You see the field starting to spread out now as the leaders have opened up a very healthy gap at the front of the field. They're really pushing at almost lap record pace at the front of this big field. Here you have it. It's Alessio Picciarello moves across, fades to the right, goes to the left. He's doing everything he can to hold out the Malaysian master. But he's not a 19-time race winner for nothing. He will look for his spot. A little bit further back, that's a battle for the AM Cup between Greg Taylor and Jeffrey Lee. KOU leading young Jan Kishiel, the driver who won the Audi TT Cup on debut last year. A great job. He always rises to the occasion, KOU. Contact now at the front of the field between Alessio Picciarello and Alex Jung. Marchi Lee's in the box seat here to pick up. Now let's go on board with Marchi and look at just how close this got at the front of the field. Into turn four. Oh, almost contact into the rear of the number one car. They continue to punch out some seriously fast times as Picciarello runs wide coming through the final sector of this lap. That allows Alex Jung to close right up again. There's nothing separating these drivers. Picciarello doing a brilliant job, still holding 35 kilograms of success ballast from his podium finish in Sepang. Moves across again. We're down at turn three. Oh, a little bit of contact there. That has taken a couple of the dive planes off the front of Alex Jung's car. Back on board with Marchi Lee. You can see the contact. There goes the carbon fibre, and that's allowed him to close up. It's just a watching brief now until something happens. You can feel the tension in the air as they dive down to turn four. Picciarello closes off again. He's gone in a little bit deep. The crossover now for the Malaysian driver. He's going to take the position on the outside. Picciarello saying, no, you're not having that. Now they're off onto the grass. The door's open. Marchi Lee said, thank you very much. This goes on into turn six. Contact. Big contact, the two drivers going hard at it. These are the championship contenders. An amazing race. More contact at the top of the hill. Marchi Lee's out of this, he's gone. See you later as the absolute racing team watches on in dismay as their driver is forced down the order. Now here we are again, box seat from Marchi Lee. Almost contact into the back of his teammate. He just sits, he's watching as this goes on, moves wide, ducks up the inside, opens the door, takes the position away, and thanks very much, Marshy Lee. That is off into the distance. And that is disaster for the young Belgian. The points leader coming in, there'll be no points for him out of this race. That's an incredible result. Now we're on board with Alessio. You can see him go across the grass, straight across the circuit, tries to come back on into the side of the number one car. You can see him just on right of screen. 
and then the problems are starting. You can see a slight vibration in the car. That'll be a deflated tyre. All that carbon fibre that was on the road and the contact is... A, oh, now we've got Alex Jung sideways. Tyre's gone down. That's both drivers in the wars and he's out. The reigning champion is out. That's both the title contenders out. Marchie Lee, first, his first win of the year and daylight second. What an incredible race as the bulk of the field crosses the line. They will be amazed to see the way this has played out. But for the 2012 Cup champion, that's win number one for 2016. I took my chance, I go inside and I make it. So it's good, good race. I was just not quick enough. We are struggling um, with the pace. So um, concerning the point, it's, it's really nice to get the uh, second place. After a dramatic round seven of the Audi R8 LMS Cup, Marchi Lee takes victory from Rahel Frey. KOU elevated to third after a post-race penalty for Jan Kischel, who is now fourth ahead of Dan Wells, Aditya Patel and Martin Rump. Anthony Lou took ninth place in the AM Cup victory ahead of Jeffrey Lee and Australian Greg Taylor. Vincent Florendo, then it's Alex Jung, 13th, and Alessio Piccarello, the points leader coming in, position 15. Martin Rump and Alessio Piccariello between them won 15 of 18 races in last year's Formula Masters China Series. But while Rump was with the series from the beginning, Piccariello had to wait until later in the year before starting his season. Both were then awarded a single entry for the final stop of last year's Audi R8 LMS Cup, the next level of the VW Group's motorsports pyramid. So I drove Formula Master China Series and uh, it went really well. So I got the opportunity to do the last round together with Absolute Racing. Yeah, we just saw the natural talent, so we, we won the last five races in Formula Masters, I think. And we wanted to help him to get into the next level. If he's good enough, and I, I strongly believe he is good enough, I mean, he has to be in the works car in the next two, three years. It's good enough for LMP or even single-seaters on the highest level. My career was like, uh, till now, a lot of up and downs. My highlight was uh, to win the ADSC Formel Masters in Germany, which is quite high-level championship there. I was like one half year without uh, anything. For sure, I was trying. I was, I was coaching drivers just to be on racetracks so teams didn't forget me and uh, somehow it works because that's how I got involved with the absolute racing and they gave me a chance so it proves that we should always be positive and uh, sometimes it might, can be hard but there is always a chance to, to be there. It's a lot more about strategy than other championship because of the ballast and uh, also because the, the fastest lap time in race one is your grid for race two. So it's really important to think already for the next race. Actually, that's why I didn't win yet because sometimes it's just better to finish second or third. You also have to show that you are clever enough to win a championship to set up your car and sometimes you need to be satisfied with uh, lower positions. For me, every time I, I, I start a championship is to win it. Uh, I knew uh, this, it won't, won't be easy in the Audi Cup because there is a lot of experienced drivers, but with people like Marchi or Alex and Frankie, which has a lot of experience and you can learn so much from them because they just have been in the highest level in motorsport. It's no secret that motor racing is about much more than just talent. There's significant sponsorship needed to finance any driver's career but it's certainly easier to attract to those sponsors if you have a little bit of that rock star appeal. To take the example of the tattoos, you know, I always really liked tattoos, but in the past when I was racing, uh, I thought it would, wouldn't be a nice image for me to, to have some. Then I got to race in Asia, I saw that people, people likes it. I like to be myself on racetrack, I think it works well. The most important is to be fast in the car, the rest is extra. In addition to all the professional drivers, the Audi R8 LMS Cup also features some gentlemen or amateur drivers who compete for their own trophy. To race in the cup is, uh, is something you want to prove to yourself that you can compete or with other very good drivers. I also try to compete with the pro class because you're in the same race. But being an amateur club means you have uh, some award in the end of the race. But the overall goal is to, to compete with the whole group. 
Actually, whenever I race, I push 100%. You know, I try to keep up with uh, pro drivers. I don't try to let them, you know, get away. The first time I drove the R8, just really liked the car, felt comfortable in the car. And I just like, to be honest, what Audi does, as far as, a, as, a, as a, myself, as a kind of an amateur driver, we get a lot of support. We get to drive with great guys. We get driver training from good guys. Just the whole package that they give us, I've been, been really happy with. I like the fact that if you can be a really fast driver, to, you know, in a lot of the pro-am situations worldwide, you, you're, you've got value there. And I just more focus on, on me becoming the fastest am so that I can always co-drive with a pro or team up with a pro in, in more endurance races and add value. These guys are pro drivers. Alex Jung is an F, XF1 driver. And Alessio is my teammate. I try to get closer to their time. It's a boost for me. It's a boost, you know. You no, know, we bring in these young, good fast drivers who come in the series, which also can also make us improve by sharing the data and uh, also make the race you know, more exciting to watch. 60% of the racing is fun. 40%, you just have to put more work into it, like, you know, physically, mentally. At the end of the day, we're putting a lot of the money and effort into this, so I still like to enjoy it. By virtue of setting the fastest time in the opening race, round seven winner Marchie Lee will start from pole for round eight. Teammate Alex Jung alongside them is Frankie Cheng, Martin Rump, Rahel Frey, Dan Wells, Aditya Purcell and Jan Kischel. The interesting point is back in position 13, a 10 place grid penalty as a result of that contact with Alex Jung in race one for Alessio Picciarello. Standing start has led to a battle between the Phoenix Racing Asia teammates and it's Alex Jung who takes the position away from pole man Marchie Lee. Up the inside too, Martin Rump, a big dive. Now we're on board with Alessio Picciarello starting from position 13. That's Sun Jing Zhu on the right hand side, takes him. Battling in front is the man who won AM Cup, Anthony Liu. He goes up the inside, locks in the tail of KOU, takes KOU, follows now onto the tail of Jan Kischel and through behind Aditya Patel. Now that's a nice five cars off the start as that is Dan Wells going down the grass. Oh, big dive up the inside by Martin Rump, the two-time winner this year. Tries to go up the inside and runs very, very deep down at turn four, off into the grass and then back into the pack. Watch this on board from Picciarello. Dives up the inside under brakes behind the young Englishman Dan Wells. Cops all the carbon fibre rubbish. Hopefully that won't cause any dramas later on in this race. Under the rear wing now of Frankie Cheng. Oh, just a little bit wide on the run up to turn nine. That's allowed Frankie to get away, but up front, Alex Jung is doing just that as the battle continues further back, side by side. Aditya Patel and Martin Rump. Can Martin Rump go around the outside? Patel's got the inside line. You can see that Frankie's still battling there with Rahul Fry. The crossover from Martin Rump. He's going up the inside. A little bit of contact there. On the inside of Aditya Patel, just forces him wide, and that allows Rahul Froh, who's got past Frankie Cheng, to lock under the rear wing of the Indian driver in the number eight Audi R8 LMS. The battle continues. It's very, very tight. There's Picciarello on the back of this from position 13. He's already up onto the tail of the battle for third position. This is an amazing move. Just takes Dan Wells and an amazing drive through turn number 16. You can see the battle there. KOU further back, battling with Jan Kischel still. A beautiful day here at Korea International Circuit and a beautiful result so far to make up for the drama of the opening race for the number one of 19-time Audi Cup winner Alex Jung as he continues to extend his lead. Marchie Lee with that 50 kilos of success ballast from winning round seven holds second, but Martin Rump is really starting to haul him in as now Frankie Cheng closes once more onto the tail of Rahul Frey, but he's got his rear window full of Alessio Picciarello. Very, very racy Frankie Cheng looking to try and make a position on the Swiss Miss. Dives up the inside and tries to get that position away. She's not finished yet. Rahul Frey, she's a winner last time out at Sapung. Dives back up the inside. Oh, contact. That's how it is, and it's contact with Frankie Cheng across in front of Dan Wells. That's not what the Chinese motorsport star wanted. He's been a winner here in the past. You can see on board from Alessio Picciarello, who again is in the box seat for the action. Just manages to get the position. Rahul looks to try and tuck under his wee wing. 
takes the lock up the inside, just a little bit of contact right on the apex. He spins around, that's two positions in one corner, and Alessio Picciarello's moved up to position number five. The crowd's being treated to an amazing display of racing here at Career International Circuit, enough to keep them on their feet all weekend as the recovering Frankie Cheng now locks onto the tail at the Am Cup winner last time out, his debut here this weekend, Anthony Liu. Of course, he's been a multiple winner in GT Asia at this circuit and is really enjoying his time in the Cup. Here's the battle for position number four, and Alessio Picturello dives up the inside and takes it away from Aditya Patel and closes in on the battle at the front of the field. Dan Wells making his debut here this weekend has done a fantastic job for the KCMG team, been very neat and very, very fast. Oh, a little bit of contact now. This is the battle for second. Martin Rumps made a huge inroads into that leader, Marchie Lee, dived up the inside at turn three and taken the position away. But up front, there's no denying the winner. He's a great comeback battle from Alex Jung. Victory, Martin Rump second, and 2012 Cup champion Marchi Lee completes the podium. I'm leading the championship, so uh, I'll take it. Um, Carl was great. The team done such a good job this weekend. Carl has been great from the from the first practice, so uh, I can't ask for anything more. Bouncing back in the second race, it uh, feels amazing, and finishing on a high the weekend. I decide I would like to have 15 kilos extra parity in Taiwan only. Then I can win Taiwan again. There you have it, Alex Jung, third victory of the season from Martin Rump, Marchi Lee, Alessio, Picciarello, great comeback drive from 13th to 4th, the Ditcha Patel, Dan Wells, Jan Kischel, and Anthony Liu, the Am Cup winner. Greg Taylor takes second in Am Cup from Sun Jing Zhu, who completes the podium. KOU, a tough run, finishes in position 11. In the overall standings, it's Alex Jung clear at the top once more from Marchi Lee. Alessio Picciarello back to P3 from Martin Rump, Rahel Fry. Frankie Cheng and Jan Kishil. In the AM Cup classification, Jeffrey Lee, despite a torrid weekend, continues to lead from Sun Jing Zhu and Vincent Florendo. Daniel Bilski still on top in the Masters Cup. We bid you farewell from South Korea after one of the most interesting events of the year. A weekend that saw some incredibly close racing and a big shift in the championship points table. Next up, a return to Taiwan, another event which really shook out the championship last year. We'll see you all in three weeks' time. Bye-bye.